Sun Sun, another game that I found on Moby Games, never played it before, so why not review this fucker? Developed and published by Capcom, it was originally released in the arcade in 1984. It was ported to the Famicom in 1986. I'm reviewing the arcade version of the game. Now this is loosed basically on the Chinese novel Journey to the West, which is a Chinese mythology fantasy adventure set way back in the old, 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 old fucking days. You assume the role of a monkey boy known as Sun Sun, but if you're doing two players, there is Tun Tun. Now Sun Sun, who is patterned after Sun Wukong from the Journey to the West story, will fight his way from one side to another, eventually reaching the statue of Buddha, and he must rescue your three friends who are kidnapped from some random asshole. That motherfucker kidnapped your friends right in front of you too. Fucking shows you how safe it is out there. As you can see, this is a side-scrolling platformer where you move left to right and the screen is divided into six floors. There's a variety of enemies like bats, statues, fish. If you touch these fuckers, you are dead and you lose a life. You do have a way to attack them by shooting small bullets. Not only that, this will stop enemies that shoot shit at you like arrows, bombs, and more. You can pick up several food items to increase your score and of course if you clear the screen you get bonus points. There is also fruit and other foods you can pick up as well and those are only for points. The game is very simple to understand but the farther you get the more enemies will get to you faster and shit can get a little crazy but it definitely adds a nice challenge. The graphics for Sun Sun, well this game has a simple look to it, but the sprites of Sun Sun, the enemies and so on are nice for its time. The game is quite colorful. With this being from the mid 80s in the arcade, it does have the black background look. I think this runs very smooth, never ran into any flickering, and if I did it was not much of it. Very well done when it comes to the graphics. The music? I like it. Not mind blowing, but it fits the game pretty well, ranging from the little bit of music before you start, and even the music during gameplay. It's nice, upbeat sounding, and fun to listen to. The sound effects are a lot of bloop when shooting and collecting power-ups, very nice to hear as well. The controls, very simple and quite responsive, moving around is easy, you hit up on the D-pad to jump, or if you're playing this on an actual arcade cabinet, you would hit the joystick up, down on the D-pad or joystick to drop down, and it's one button to shoot. Nobody should have issues playing this game, if they can't understand that, they shouldn't be playing video games. Sun Sun is a simple arcade game to play. Not only that, it's a lot of fun. The farther you go, the difficulty does ramp up a bit, but I feel it's a bit addicting in a way. The gameplay is simple to understand, the little story behind the game is pretty cool, the graphics are simple and very well done, the music is upbeat and great, the sound effects are awesome, and the controls are easy to understand as well. Really nothing to say bad here, I really enjoyed the hell out of playing this game. Now if you want to play Sun Sun for yourself, obviously there is MAME, but the game was featured in Capcom Arcade Second Stadium for Steam, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Switch, Capcom Generations 3 for the PlayStation and Sega Saturn, the Capcom Classics Collection for the Xbox and PlayStation to, and if I recall, it's in a few others as well. So you can get this game for last-gen consoles. There is a sequel titled Sun Sun 2, and this was released on the TurboGrafx-16. At a later time, I will definitely check that out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of Sun Sun for Arcade. Thank you for watching. You motherfuckers kick ass.